Welcome to the final part of the Hogs of War Let's Play. We are doing the final mission. We've got a full team of heroes. We're going to get all the kills and get all the swill. Now we're finally against the little purple team, which I, I don't know if this is a joke, but the I think the implication is that Isla Swill is meant to be like a bit of poo coming out of like the pig. <laughs> Now, there's an interesting thing with this mission, there's only one enemy in a pillbox that has 200 health, and what we are going to do is extract this uh, pig from the tin can by jumping on top and uh, doing nothing. I suggest patience. His name is Izzy and he's English. As uh, signaled by the, the music. In my experience he's only ever been English or Russian. And then we're just gonna airstrike him because he's only a, a measly gunner. So I'll send a couple of rockets for him. Just a, a little, you know, uh, welcoming uh, th uh, thing. Just to say, hi, we're here to take your stuff. <laughs> and I thought we'd give him a swim too. And that looks a lot more violent than probably we were expecting, but I'll explain later. And that's it, that's the final mission complete. I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play, guys. That was really fun, that was so difficult, that was so easy, that was, that was everything, that was... <laughs> But, um, of course, we're not having things that simple. That would be uh, a little too uh, underwhelming, shall we say. So, we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it properly this time. <laughs> sure. So, what's really meant to happen is we'll find out in uh, a couple of turns. But for now, I'm going to stand under this uh, swill well and uh, shoot at the pillbox. <laughs> Now the reason why I'm standing under this swirl well is because the, the arms of the well uh, provide pretty good cover for anything that comes from above. That is until they blow up and then obviously they're not there to protect you and them blowing up can do a, a bit of extra damage to you. Fortunately it didn't really mean anything because he, he's pushed us out of the way anyway. It's also a good idea to pick up all the uh, the health crates while you can here because um, there's not going to be many instances of you getting poisoned and to be fair like there's not going to be instances as, as well where you need to get extra health at, at a moment you might as well just pick it up as soon as you can. So this is the reason uh, why uh, most people tend to do the first method is all these legends drop down. They are a class that you can't get. Um, and they are very powerful. They have 200 health. They have all this... Uh, they have all this, like, extra... Um, all these extra weapons and stuff that they can use. Such as they've got an airstrike and a fire ray in airstrike. Um, and that's why we want to stand under the swirl wells. Because they, uh, they can protect us. Especially from the fire rain ones. Now one thing that's pretty interesting in this is everyone's clothes are slightly darker in this in this level and everyone who's a legend or, or a hero well I think the legends look like that normally but the heroes while normally addressed you know with like shirt and trousers and stuff they've got a trench coat in in this final mission now, there's not really much you can do here about that but he does hurt himself so that's useful. So best thing we can do is go under this uh, well and uh, and just airstrike someone else. Now the strategy I use for this mission is slightly different to 
one I used like later on. I did do a, another run of this game, uh, and I tried using that, that method I, I talked about in the last part, where you don't use your airstrikes as much. It works for a short while, and it can be useful. You can take out a couple of pigs before it happens, so overall you, you do just get less like heavy attacks upon you. When the swirl whales destroy, they'll either drop a jetpack or an airstrike. Um, I'm not sure, like, the briefing at the beginning says destroy them, and it's for that reason, but logically speaking, if we're taking over it, do we need to destroy these swirl whales? Won't that be a bit of a hindrance to, to us getting the swirl? Only thing I can think of that might be slightly logical about that is. Um, if we destroy them, that stops the enemy supply because we technically haven't claimed them yet. So if we destroy it, then they can't do anything with it either. And probably stopping their supply will be more effective to us than like just having a supply start sooner. Um. This is the only stage in the in the single player where there's po where the water is poisoned. So if you fall in, you're instantly poisoned, and if you die, you have a much more uh, violent explosion, which I think has a larger blast radius. It still does uh, a maximum of 20. Now the only legend who isn't here is the English one because we're playing as the English team. Um, He's called Saint Nick. Well, I figure it's best to try and take, do a decent amount of damage to each of them, and then just try and uh, just try and blow up uh, one before they can use their next airstrike. Oh, is that is that Tapazuki there? The reggae DJ. <laughs> that's a that's a very obscure reference, which I I do wonder actually if it was intentional because if you do type in Tapazuki on, on on Google, nothing comes up except the reggae DJ. <laughs> that me. Hey, hey. Come on, then. So I wonder if someone was a big fan of him and he's like, hey, you know what? That sounds like a Japanese name. <laughs> We're already grouping people together. We might as well just continue that trend. So as you can see here, uh, airstrike has dropped, but it's in a location that isn't really very accessible because you need a jetpack to get to there. And I'm hoping that none of the enemy pigs uh, try that, but they might. Um, in an earlier build of the game, the swill wells, uh, the little like pipes that were in the middle would spew out. Uh, fire that would run along the ground for a little bit. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that was, because um, it, it was just an annoyance. It would end your turn. It, I don't think the enemy would ever walk into it. Uh, fortunately, Herr Garring has got a uh, another. Um, well, he's got. A, he's picked up one of the health packs I failed to uh, eat. So. Seems we've traded uh, poisons <laughs> with uh, with Qui Gon. Yeah, Yakobsky's uh, nearly dead. I think it's Yakobsky, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so I'll just finish him off with some good old fashioned TNT. Couldn't remember how much health he had, so we'll just destroy him. There is another class in this game that was uh, unused. It's um, it's called the Ace, and it has it was supposed to be something between the Hero and Legend, and it's got a few weapons that are exclusive to just that class. You can access it through hacking, I think, on like an emulator, um, but it's. Uh, 
here. I don't think there's a, a way to tell actually what they look like, uh, like how to tell the difference between them and, and a hero. I think they've got the same model as the hero. I, th I think. I think the only difference is they don't have a monocle. I'm not certain about that. The only the only hero you can see is in the credits. And interestingly, the hit, not the hero. I mean, the only ace you can see in the game normally is one stud in the credits. And the only way to uh, uh, to see like each team's one is to uh, what you do is you go into the the single player mode. Uh, you pick a team, and then you back out and you go into the credits. And the team you picked is the color of the the ace that's in the credits. Uh, yeah, we got an extra airstrike, so that's a bit more damage done to the uh, the enemy pigs. And ah, we managed to wipe another one out. That's great. <laughs> so just three more legends and and Izzy. Oh, Big Matt's pretty low on health too, so. Oh, but he is aiming for Qui Gon, and Qui Gon is and Qui Gon can very well be killed by a. Uh, an airstrike if uh, if he takes too much damage. Uh, um, the, sw the swirl well pretty much saved him from from much there. He he might survive another attack, but I think if that it depends because if that if that well explodes because it did took it did take quite a bit of a beating from that airstrike. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And I think now he's been knocked out of position, so he is exposed and can be uh, hurt by by Izzy. Uh, that's Big Matt taken care of. <laughs> you have the wrong guy. Oh. So we've just got the Japanese, the French, and the miscellaneous left. <laughs> but our. Uh, our, our Japanese friend over here is still on full health, and he's got his airstrike, and he's aiming for Qui Gon again. Poor Qui Gon, everyone, every, everyone's beating him up. <laughs> and, um, oh no, Qui Gon! <laughs> oh, poor everyone. So yeah, he he died just like in Episode One, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, they did actually program it in, in this game. They were really big fans of Phantom Menace. If if you have a pig called Qui-Gon and he dies, Obi-Wan will appear and scream at your face. Um, <laughs> of, of course not really, but... Um, anyway, we're going to take our uh, anger out on, on the French now. For what the Japanese did, that makes sense, right? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this, Frenchy! Um, now the reason why I've let Qui-Gon die um, it's because I wanted Obi-Wan to raid Anakin and train him but also because uh, uh, because the, the rules of, of the survival bonus work a little bit differently in this final level I think they were aware of how difficult it is to, to beat without any pigs dying I think they were intending for your pigs to die so you still get the survival bonus if you don't have any permadeaths. So so long as no more than two pigs die in this final level, you'll still get the survival bonus. Um, I have beaten this level though without any pigs dying, and I only did that with the uh, uh, with that new strategy where I avoid using airstrikes so they don't use any for a while. Um, and um, I got very lucky because the pigs were stood near the edge of the map, so I was able to uh, I was able to use TNTs and cluster grenades to launch them off the map, kill them straight away. Meant there was way less like airstrikes and just pigs shooting at us. Uh, but that's the only time I've done it without them dying. I'm pretty sure it is possible to do it without, but it is much much more difficult. Obviously, you just got kind of got to get lucky. 
Well, Mr. Bean is pretty damaged, we, we will just have to use our self heals and get our health a bit back up. Uh, and this he's poisoned, so he won't be lasting much long. But check him out there rocking his Spyro hat. <laughs> I actually own a Spyro hat like one. It's like a little woolly hat with uh, with his like spikes and and horns and uh, and eyes. Um, I bought it at this like nerd market um, where they were selling all sorts of like uh, doohickeys from like games and films and animes and stuff. Um, there was this weird. Uh, there was this weird like. Boba Fett figurine that that you could take like it was designed so you could take his arms off. Um, I'm not sure what the the purpose of that was. I'm not sure if it was like a knockoff, like like in Jingle All the Way when there's that Turbo Man with the with the uh, with the detachable arms and the the multi language Spanish version. You are just a bunch of con men. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, I think we'll take out Tapazuki first. He's uh, probably the most dangerous. Um, well, he's not poisoned either, so we'll, we'll need to do something about him. <laughs> there are quite a few weapons that the legend has that I don't think they ever use. I think they're just not programmed to use it. Whoa! <laughs> Over the hills and far away. <laughs> Like, I think one weapon they have is the shockwave. Um, unless if I'm getting them mixed up with the ace. But, I'm... but if you do make it to the, the final mission with some spies, you know, because they have pickpockets, you can... Uh, you can pickpocket them and, and take away some of their, like, fancy weaponry. There's not really much more I can do with uh, with him. I'm just gonna hope I can heavy machine gun him closer to Izzy. Maybe it can take 12 health off him. Unfortunately, I probably could have hit Izzy too if I was uh, any closer to him. But um, at least I knocked him close enough to take enough damage. He's now gonna die in this next turn and. We, we did it with four pigs. <laughs> uh, R.I.P. Qui-Gon. <laughs> so, you, were, you were too good for this world. <laughs> so now everything is ours and oh, poor Qui-Gon. Still dead. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, our survival bonus is Izzy. <laughs> we we get our own personal Izzy. Uh, now it's it's the ability to play on hard mode. You get to play as the purple team, the Mardi Pigs, and it's it's just you fighting the uh, the team you were just playing as for the whole thing. If you use the cheat code to get it, I think you still play against the different nations. So that might be the preferred way to play because then you're not just playing against the same nation over and over because then you get to hear the same music and voice lines the whole time and now we get to celebrate because um, because now it's, it's, it's peace time but unfortunately Mr. Piggy here uh, isn't too fond of, of that he's is, uh, thinks it was all for nothing. He's lost everything. But, uh, like all simple minded folk, and just shine something, just, just put, dangle something shiny in front of their face, and they'll, uh, they'll, they'll take to it easily. It's like in uh, The Simpsons when the, when the babysitter's got the, the game dangling in front of Bart and manages to get him to walk into a wall. 
because he's trying to, to follow it so badly. Uh, some some very surprisingly grim uh, but true words. Uh, there's uh, pointless wars fighting fighting because of uh, pointless arguments. <laughs> Does happen, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, we we have won. We we are the best. Now you will all know that I am the best. That is it. And uh, the major goes absolutely death. crazy. He's uh, he's gone absolutely war. mad with power. You ever see a guy go mad without power? It's boring, nothing gets done. I think that crazy laugh is on par with the chocolate guy when he finally catches SpongeBob and Patrick. But yeah, here's uh, the credits. Uh, they're pretty small actually, I don't think it was that big of a team. Uh, but as for my final thoughts for this game, I would uh, very much recommend it. Just remember, for those who um, might find it offensive, that it is a you know very of of, of its time, I guess, in a, in a sense, like because um, I don't think they'd be able to do something like this today. But um, I would recommend playing this game. It's definitely a lot of fun if you play with friends. If you do uh, want to play it. I would actually suggest playing emulator because now they've people like the community's developed a uh, an online uh, functionality for the game, so you can play with people online. Uh, but thank you very much for uh, watching the let's play. I will see you in the next one.